Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's always a pleasure to be here at the Royal Geographical Society and to have the opportunity to meet and discuss and award uh, our winners and be uh, refreshed once again about how much is really going on out there in true conservation work. I think we've been celebrating the 20 years and we've seen real progress uh, measurable progress being made, which is, I hope you find, uh, a, an inspiration on its own. And then we get to the award winners, and you can be inspired all over again. But we have noticed progress in some of the developing countries, and it has worked really well. But in other countries, it is still a major struggle. And um, I go back to that grassroots focus of uh, the Whitley Awards because it's so often that is the exact point where the help is most needed in order to make a change in these countries and for people to be able to build on things that they know they want to do. That need, that need of that very precise bit of help is going to continue for many years to come. It is a long-term project in every sense of the word, not just the individuals today, but we know that they are going to take a long time to achieve what they want to achieve. And I think that's going to take us quite a long time to fill in the gaps. We believe that the Whitley Fund has a knack for picking real leaders with astonishingly good local understanding. And they understand the challenges for the society and how to fit that work into the society, how to challenge local people to be able to get them to understand the difference that conservation will make to their lives. And we know from uh, today's winners, as well as the previous ones, that that won't have been very obvious for them. And it has taken very articulate, knowledgeable, understanding people to get that message across, to make the real difference. We know uh, that there's no academic paper which covers all of this or exercise or tick blocks. It can't be done that way. We need a little bit of that uh, dull magic. Um, shown, I noticed, by our gold board winners, and then um, I think Gerald Durrell would have been, I, guess, I don't think he's, they wouldn't have bothered to send him to a charge psychologist, we know that, but um, <laughs> they would have got on really well. And that's very important that you have that spark of real uh, interest and motivation and to turn that into uh, knowledge. Because Gerald Durrell Dill had, did have that astonishing ability to go and live and get alongside people wherever he went. And they listened to him and enjoyed his company, enjoyed his storytelling, <laughs> uh, enjoyed his ability to drink whatever it was that they had available, and <laughs> continue to tell good stories. Um, and if that's the way of coming up with a conservation result, he could do it. And if that's the way that it takes to be done, it, uh, we have winners who can understand that too. That human touch, finally, is what makes conservation work. We have the research, fine details of uh, what makes things tick and how to improve breeding. But in the end, it will be about people understanding why conservation is important and how they're going to make the difference not the statistics. That's the job. Without you, our donors, uh, we could never translate that into active support for those on the ground. So thank you all once again. Thank you for getting us past this uh, 20th anniversary, for supporting Edward in his uh, ambitions to make a real difference. And to look to the future, where, because the charity is not just about recognising more winners, it's also really helping those winners to work together, all of them together, to be able to do that better and to become that real force for good in the global efforts to protect the environment. We believe that that is a hugely valuable resource which has been created through these awards and the knowledge of our winners. So thank you for your support. Uh, I hope you feel that congratulations are in order uh, for what has been achieved in 20 years. 
and for allowing us to do so. But please do keep up the good work.